your power is going out the window because of these three things. I wish I knew about these things when I was younger. You kiddos, listen up. First thing that kills our power is hip slide. This is what I mean by hip slide. When our hips are sliding forward like this, we are losing so much leverage. Quick little physics lesson. In order to generate leverage, we need a fulcrum, which is just a fancy word for point of resistance. Now that point of resistance is our front side. That's why when you see so many big league hitters at point of contact, boom, their front side is strong. They're blocking off their energy. That is generating torque and leverage throughout the swing. So when we slide forward with our hips, we are losing this leverage and we are losing that point of resistance. So take a video from a side view of your swing and see if you're losing power drifting forward. Eliminate the hip slide, it's killing your power. Number two, we got throwing hands. A lot of us will see the baseball coming at us and think by reaction, oh, I have to go get it with my hands. And while it's true that we wanna catch the ball out in front of the plate, a lot of times it causes our hands to go out of turn. Our hands need to be connected with the rest of the body in order to deal optimal damage. And when our hands cast out and get disconnected from the body, we are weak. Think about how hard you can push with the bat out here. You can't push that hard. But if the bat's in tight like this, we can generate some serious torque. Stop throwing hands. It's also robbing you of your power. Number three, the third thing that's robbing us of our power is something that's missing in our swing. So what's missing in a lot of our swings? We got a coil missing. What's a coil? Now, a lot of us have a load. We all should have a load, right? We see the ball coming, we load, right? But just by getting our hands back here and ready doesn't necessarily mean that we're coiled. You see, in our launch position or our load position, we shouldn't just get to here. We should coil this way just a little bit, this way. Not just this way, this way. When we're missing this coil, a lot of times we just go straight with our hands and we cut across the baseball. We're missing out on a ton of power and our bat path is going whoop right across the zone instead of staying on plane through the ball. Let me show you the difference. Here's one with no coil, rolling over the top, and here's one with coil. Big difference, right? Stop killing your power, get your coil, keep those hands connected, and stop sliding those hips. I'm Coach Rack with Headbanger Sports. We'll see you guys next week.